Hello. This video shows a complete demonstration of how we can use the DigiLint FMC HDMI module with the FPGA to do the beta processing with it. For this purpose, I'm going to use Zboard and all the streams will have 1080p resolution. This block diagram shows the general flow of the design. For example, how HDMI inputs are captured and displayed through the HDMI output. The design has a video mixer pipeline to show you both the HDMI input streams side by side view onto the single HDMI output. The display pipeline has a feature that it will output only one stream out of three input streams by the stream switching mechanism. This is only the demonstration purpose. The entire design has been made with Xilinx Vivado and Vitis SDK. This is the board setup. The major component is the DigiLint FMC HDMI module. It is a dual HDMI input FMC module which becomes one of the excellent solutions when you need more than one HDMI input interface in your FPGA designs. The module has two HDMI inputs which are HDMI 1 and HDMI 2. SDMI 1 implements the SDMI 1.4a standard because it uses analog device ADV7611 SDMI receiver IC. Similarly, SDMI 2 is SDMI 1.3a standard as it uses analog device SDMI buffer AD8195 IC. This is the basic block diagrammatic view of FMC module. Check the link in the description to get more information on this module. Okay, coming back to our setup, we have a two HDMI input cables. This is coming from the desktop and will be connected to HDMI 1 port of the FMC module. This is coming from the laptop and will be connected to HDMI 2 port of the module. And finally, we have an HDMI output cable, which goes to output HDMI monitor to display our final output. This is the entire hardware block design which utilizes the DigiLint FMC HDMI input streams and mix them to display onto HDMI monitor. We need to generate the design. In my case, the design is already generated. So I can move on to the PyTIS SDK part. In the SDK part, we need to write the program which initializes and configures the pipelines so that they will be able to run. Similarly, we also need to program the FMC HDMI IC such as ADV7611 to IIC protocol. The AD8195 IC program is not required as it is already pre-programmed. Once the code is completed, we build it and finally run up on the board. We also need to have a terminal so that we can get the hardware configuration information. This information can be used to debug our design. In my case, I use GTK term, which is already connected to the board. As you can see, our setup is fully programmed and we are getting successful configuration messages. This is the output we are getting after successfully running the design. This is the video mixer output. The pipeline is working as shown in the diagram. The left side of the screen shows the SDMI 1 input stream, whereas the right side shows the SDMI 2 input stream. The SDMI inputs are not connected yet, so we are not seeing any output right now. Let's connect the SDMI cables. Here you see these LEDs indicate the SDMI SPD signaling so that our SDMI sources will detect the sync and start transmitting. Here you see this laptop has detected another SDMI sync. So we get this kind of a display setting 
Notice that I'm using the Ubuntu operating system. Currently, the SDMI resolution for FMC SDMI is set to 1080p. Unfortunately, the setting windows is not opening here. This is our design output. This is currently our video mixer output. Let's have a look. I will drag the windows just for demonstration purposes. Here you might be noticing a little bit of an uneven mixer output. This is because I am directly feeding the input streams without resizing them. As I already described earlier, this design has a feature to switch the stream. Let's have a look at the output. Pipelines are currently working this way. Let me switch to another stream. Pipelines are currently working this way. Okay, let's get back to video mixer output. Let's have a look on SDMI input stream status by ILA waveform. We are getting the SDMI input signals perfectly. The DigiLine FMC SDMI demonstration comes in this way. Check the link in the description to get a complete information on this design. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching.